I've got all kinds of different tape, different widths, different diameters. What I want to do is come up with a storage rack that can accommodate all of these variations, keep the tape handy, and make it easy for me to pick out the one that I need. This is the rack I plan on making. It has two ends and three rails, two near the bottom to hold the tape and one at the top for mounting. I'm going to start by cutting the ends to length. Then rip the rails to width on the table saw. Next, I take my largest roll of tape and trace the outline onto one of the ends. Using this circle as a reference, I determine the best positions for the rails. Trace their outlines, then mark the locations for the screws that will secure the rails in place. I tape the two ends together and drill clearance holes through both at the same time, ensuring the hole locations will be the same on both ends. My original design had rectangular ends, but I've decided to put a radius on the top front corners for appearance and to avoid the possibility of scrapes from sharp corners. Using a compass, I scribe an arc on the corner. Cut the curve on the bandsaw. And smooth it out on the disc sander. I'm using hot melt glue to temporarily attach the rails to the end. This way, I can turn the unit over and install the screws from the opposite side without the rails slipping out of position. With one end attached and secure, I move on to the other. That completes the assembly. I'm going to install this on the pegboard beneath my wall cabinets. The mounting holes I've drilled on the top rail line up with the holes in the pegboard. Now this rack can accommodate just about any size tape roll. It's up, out of the way, everything is visible, and the tape goes in and out very easily.